What's up everyone? Welcome back to Of Ash and Dust where you can bet your ass I am still stuck on this dream boss. And we have daylight savings, so it's gonna be much, much brighter outside now that um, that's happening. Now that that's the vibe. Here's the thing, you guys were very kind and offered some pretty helpful tips on dealing with this boss which I'm gonna really try to implement first things first Kieran you can only really get one hit on per like her coming close to you So, yeah, yeah, you, you can't really, like, mess around with her. Second big thing... ...is... ...Goth. Main thing being... Listen, sorry that I'm, like, speaking like an idiot here. As you can see, this is taking some concentration. Um, the deal with Goff is that apparently the slumbering Dragon Crest Ring very much works on him. Now, of course, the question is does your boy have the slumbering Dragon Crest Ring? I honestly don't know. I seem to remember having picked it up, uh, but this is very risky. So I would prefer keeping, I mean, killing Ornstein first. Yep. Look at it, he takes a lot of damage. Somehow I lost track of Goff. Which I think should be impossible. Oh, there he is. Yeah, because apparently, you know, as it as it goes, he is blind. So we should be able to, like, I don't know, old monk him or some shit. Now, of course, it's very much possible that because he is, like, this boss version, uh, the usual trickos don't really work on him not that it matters you know because because um wolfring wouldn't do jack shit in this fight anyways so honestly it's not too big of a deal. So, like, he can lose track of you, apparently, I think. God, this weapon is slow. Cool. Is that it? Nice. -o. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Because, honestly... Shit, can you not get your souls? Uh-oh. Or you can refight this boss. I mean, if I don't get my shit back, it's not the end of the world because I got 60k souls out of that. But... Damn. Okay. Again. Okay, that's one level. A little bit less impressive than I thought. Never mind. I thought there was an item there that I guess it's like when you complete it that it shines like that cool wait a second though did I get my shit back because I did not have one humanity okay whatever 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 I am a happy man so what should we do next I think the next order of business here I just check the time cool is 
I think the painted world. I said I wasn't in the mood for the painted world. Uh, this put me in the mood for the painted world because really the only thing left here then after this is the the D and the L and the C. The dulls, as they say. Fuck it, keep jumping. I'm not like bunny hopping because I'm an idiot, it's just, you know. You know the deal, if you've been around the channel for long enough, you know the deal. Is it because is I'm too cheap to invest in new controllers? Maybe, maybe. Am I gonna d deny that I'm too cheap to invest in new controllers? No, I'm not. But yeah, anyways, this is, uh, I think, turning out to be a pretty solid playthrough here. Bec not playthrough, I mean, pretty solid episode because I like, feel in the zone, you know, that I managed to kill this boss. Because I honestly thought, I had a thought in the back of my mind that Artorius would spawn as well once I killed all three of them. Somehow it would have made sense, but luckily he did not. Because believe me, the last thing, the last thing I would have needed is to also have to, okay that's a one shot, also have to fight Artori after already having fought him once. What up now, right? You are all getting one shot, right? What up? Didn't expect that, did you? Nice. Hey, hey. The broken Dark Souls 2 parry weapon. That's a wonderful shot. Truly aim of the gods right here. Aim of the chosen undead. Come on. I said come on because you're gonna heal. Yeah. Thought so. I should be able to enter here. Which I'm gonna heal because who knows what the hell they're gonna do to have some twists here. And some ominous music. I had checking time frequently. It's not like much has passed here. <laughs> that noise is like such a stock. I'm hearing a lot of things, you know, because normally I play this game okay, I'm on the console or whatever, but rarely am I on headphones outside of when I'm playing on the PC. Because as you know, when I'm recording off of I still don't get what the hell this does. Um, when I'm on the consoles normally, normally, I have to turn the volume down pretty significantly because otherwise it like feeds back into the microphone. And I could solve that with a wireless, with a pair of wireless headphones, but you know. We run a cheap operation here, people. We run a cheap operation. Uh, so let's see what's up with the painted world. Can already tell this weapon is gonna be slow as shit for this place. As it usually is. Hey, a winged spear. I am never gonna need that. This is a fun area though. Oh shit. There's the aimbotting. God, these guys deal a lot of damage. Or I don't have a lot of defense. Eat shit. I wish that could have been a repost. So far, 
I'm a happy camper because they got rid of those fucking uh, toxin sag guys, which are by far the worst enemies. Just fire arrows. I see you. Virgin Valkacros versus Chad Artoria's greatsword. You know who the winner is. I think that's the second episode in the row that I've made that joke. Um, I should be ashamed. Oh, they're here. Where is that motherfucker shooting ass from? On oh, there. Which is a balcony... Okay... I really... I was... Giving high praises here to the mod makers for being nice enough not to feature this enemy. It looks like that's a... That's false hope. Escape death. Nice. Is that um, second chance? As it's more commonly called. C -c called. It's more common cousin, you know. Uh, this is the place you can't jump to, right? I think. They tempt you with that because you gotta drop down from above. Yeah. I don't know why I thought this weapon had like a spinning slash for its rolling attack. Not that it matters, but... Okay. Hey, who said that pyromancies are useless? Yeah, I've been... I'm not going to lie, people, that I've been neglecting my pyromancies a little bit. It's just because this Artorias Greatsword is just so fucking strong that a lot of the times I'm like, well, I can just hit them with my sword, can I? He usually does the trick. Still. Okay. See, this one-shot you. It don't one-shot you now, that's for sure. Nice. I guess this is Miracle Central. This place right here. Another thing. I forgot to mention this, like, throughout the playthrough. But I read somewhere that one of the other quests they bought, they brought back, it's a cut kind of quest line, uh, is the Shiva one. So apparently, if you guys don't know, Shiva was supposed to have a quest line where he he does something. He's an asshole, actually, as you later discover, which you normally wouldn't discover just play the game normally because aside from threatening you with murder if you betray the clan Shiva is kind of a nice dude but he really ain't so that's one of the cut quest lines he does and I don't remember what exactly he does and that's kind of annoying but you have to hunt him down and it's here. This is where you would normally encounter him. Oh, hey there. Yeah, I think. I think that's a point down. You earned a point down from that. Golden Feather Ring. Always down for some new new rings here. Golden Feather. Boots max equipment load reduces defense. 
Hmm, okay. Max equip load minus defense. I guess that's if you like really want to wear the heavy stuff and you're okay with taking a slight defense reduction. I think that's the idea. That's what I can see being kind of the general uh, idea. Well, and this this wasn't, wasn't one of my pyromancies. Oh shit. I got the two confused. I thought it was 20 intelligence that you needed, but it's 20 faith. Oh well. I mean, this is a this is a pretty well re remixed area in that something is shooting at us, but this is what I like um, when they kind of do some new things, you know, new enemy layout and all that, some new enemies themselves. Sacred Oath. Oh, Sacred Oath is in the game. But it's also not like mega, mega changed. See, I thought that was the rolling attack. It looks like no invader. No Xanthus King Jeremiah. There's always like some weird music. Oh, nice. I was gonna say, I'm disappointed. Yeah, there's like some... Always some weird music that plays here. What the shit is he doing? <laughs> oh, he's using that exploding spell. What is... This dude is a bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well... What did I say about the Artorias Greatsword? That thing is taking names. Like, really taking names. It's so nice that this thing is buffed. I think all of the... Oh, fuck. I think dying to hollows would be... Would bring great shame on my clan. So let's not do that. Would be like dying to the moonlight butterfly, right? Or something. Which obviously has never happened. I don't even know where the hell this leads. Okay, this leads here. Why do there have to be bone wheels? I'm singing in desperation, that's what's going on here. Mm. I was about to say something clever. And I completely lost my train of thought, thanks to these roly-poly fuckers. Please tell me that's it. I just want to turn the statue. I think we're good. We are good. This is a very synchronized crow cawing. It's a very persistent crow as well. We are still doing excellent on time. Holy shit. This is one of the like most productive slash efficient episodes we had in a while. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think I was gonna say how Xanthus King Jeremiah is a bitch. Oh no, I know what I was going to say. How happy I am. I was going to talk about how happy I am that they buffed Artorias' greatsword. Because... I use this thing in Knight's Honor and I'm going to be 100% honest with you. This shit was kind of a disappointment. When I got around to using it, finally, I was like... 
Okay. Well, this thing sure as hell takes a lot of stats and all that. And... Suddenly... I almost got screwed. And it doesn't do much to compensate for it. The stat investment, I mean. Oh. Could we get a more perfect damage number? I don't know if we could. Hmm. And that makes me happy. 69 damage would have been even more optimal. <coughs> On like a blocked attack or something. We all come from mature humor on the Mr. Sketchhead channel here. Mature humor only. And unfortunately now I'm gonna have to like respawn all these assholes again because I gotta make a beeline towards the fog gate here. Oh man, why did I think I was at 18 faith? Would have been way better. So yeah, we'll go. Sorry, Oswalds of Kareem. You guys are... Well... You know. Maybe you're meant to come here earlier. I will I will concede on that, that maybe um, coming here end game status is maybe cheating. I saw that ambush coming a million miles away. Listen, these guys are these guys are having a bad time, let me tell you. It was almost worth it just for that shard alone. Am I gonna hurt Priscilla though? I don't think so. I'm not that cruel, as they say. Okay, that's what she says. As they say. I'm gonna loot this though. Thanks for a Valka's talisman. Um, you're lucky I'm feeling generous. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I don't like killing her. First of all, I fought her on the Binding of Isaac randomizer mod quite a few times. And man, is she annoying. Uh, especially when they put her in an area that doesn't have snow and you can't even trace her footsteps. That noise again. <laughs> Such a stock sound. I love it. And... Yeah, she's an... Anno oh shit, did you see that lens flare? <clears throat> We're getting fancy here with the effects. Um, she's an un annoying fight, less annoying in her actual intended arena because, again, the you can trace her footsteps uh, with the snow. <clears throat> but even so, we'll leave her. The question is, what do we have time for? <clears throat> I feel like I still got a lot of time left here. Maybe? Actually, I don't know how long I've been going. <coughs> 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 Fucking hell. <coughs> Apparently I'm losing my voice, which I think is signaling that you should end the episode, bitch. Um, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. The question is, what's left? What's left is 
Mr. Gwendolyn. And after Mr. Gwendolyn, it's Mr. DLC and Manus in particular. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Daughters of Ash. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe, do the usual, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out, take care, and goodbye.